As the seasons change, the sun, surf, and sand merge in a breathtaking moment and catch an artist's eye. So far, it's the, my favorite one that I've ever seen. It's just the feeling of the light on a late summer day. A towering white light called Yaquina captured Mark Bristanen's heart 15 years ago. He's come back to give the memory life, one brush stroke at a time. Boy, this view of this lighthouse is something else right here. I just love it. It's not hard to love a light that stood more than a century and where folks still line up to go inside. When we walk through that front door, we're going back in time. It's going to be 1885, and I will be playing a head light keeper here at Yaquina Head. BLM Ranger Brett Greenheck gets a kick out of playing the part and telling the story of a light that came to life in 1871 when nearly 400,000 bricks were delivered to this remote and ancient headland. He says the walls at the base are five feet thick for good reason. Winds can typically come over the headland at 100 plus miles an hour. Our walls in here whistle, but they do not waver. Managed by the BLM, the Aquina Head Outstanding Natural Area is home to seabirds and seals and some of the most accessible tide pools of the Oregon coast. Probably the most diverse, probably the prettiest. They have the most living things in them of any tide pool I've seen in the Northwest. They're easy to get to and they're protected. Raptors live here too. Peregrines, high up on a cliff face. You can watch their show anytime. There's one on the left-hand side and one on the right-hand side. Oh, aren't you beautiful, darling? We've had a nesting pair here for three years. They nest on the same cliff here. This year they had three chicks. Um, they fledged successfully. Spend time in the Aquina Head Interpretive Center. Learn fascinating natural and cultural history. Displays that teach you much about the people who endured hardship to provide service for mariners at sea. It was hard work maintaining these buildings and the lights. A trail guides you to an observation deck to savor dramatic views of the Pacific and a unique perspective on a headland. It's just so striking against the horizon and the shape of the land. It's just fabulous. Even on a rainy day, it's the best place I could be. At Yaquina Headland with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.